decades of waiting for justice, one family is now worried that justice may never come. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Mormuth in for Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. John Stagner was beaten to death back in August of 1992, and today his family learned they will have to wait even longer for justice. Ronald Cates was arrested almost two years ago for allegedly killing Stagner, but now concerns about his mental health are prolonging the case in court. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver was at today's hearing. 30 years to the day, uh, Ronald Cates is in jail. When the Orange County Sheriff announced the arrest two years ago, John Stagner's daughter thought it was the closure she needed. But since then, 32 years we've waited, we're going to keep waiting. Johnetta Grant and her family have been waiting for justice in court. This is the third time we've tried to have the hearing on whether he the case would be dismissed or whether he may or may not be competent. Monday, a judge denied the defense's motion to dismiss the case. There's also a substantial likelihood that without care treatment, he'll cause seriously bodily harm to himself or others. And decided to commit Cates to a different treatment facility. Since November, he's been at a center on the Treasure Coast for people who are not competent to stand trial. The testimony was he does suffer from a schizophrenia class disorder as well as these neurological disorders. What would be an ideal outcome for you all? I just don't wish him ever to be out in society. Barbara Marshall is John Stagner's niece. What do you remember about that morning? When I went in the house where he had been killed, it's a day I'll never forget. Marshall says her world fell apart when she learned Stagner, a maintenance worker in Orange County, was beaten to death in 1992. Marshall vowed to get answers, but there was no arrest until detectives say Kate's confessed decades later. So I've known of him this whole time. And you have memories of him? Yes, I do. He would come and borrow tools and money and you know, just have dinner. Your family had to fight for decades to even get an arrest in this case, and now you're fighting in court. It's hard to be patient, but there's really nothing you can do about it. Stagner's daughter actually flew in all the way from Kentucky to go to this hearing. She tells me she will keep showing up until there is justice. Cates is expected back in court in November, so prosecutors and his attorney will see where things stand then. In Orange County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6. Thank you, Catherine. And last month, we told you the state is expanding a mission to get results and solve other cold cases across Florida. The FDLE, the Department of Corrections, and the Attorney General's Office teamed up with Crime Stoppers to release a new version of their cold case playing cards. Since 2007, hundreds of thousands of decks of playing cards, each featuring different cold cases, have been distributed to prisons across the state. The hope is maybe prisoners know something or heard something from someone else behind bars about the cases, and that makes them eligible for a reward if they come forward with information leading to a case being solved. The decks have helped solve at least two cases in Florida.